today we're going to start with our section B for automatic truck recording, okay? So here we're going to be uh, for section A for your engine section. Section B is everything of your tractor of the entire truck, okay? Section C, this will be your section. For the exam truck itself, the one that you're going to be tested on, down here will be different. So we're going to talk about that. And also for the exam truck, you only do the axle, front and the back. I'm gonna skip this part, okay? Because that's the exam truck, it's not gonna have three axles, okay? All right, so with that said, now we're gonna start with this. Come on over here. All right, here. We're gonna start with the mirror, okay? That's where we're gonna start from. Property mounted, good working condition. Not bent, break or crack, no illegal will, no more than 10 inch away from the cab, fully adjustable driver's view. No illegal stickers, okay? So we're talking about a mirror. Now, next one, the door. Properly bounded, good working condition. Open and close properly. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna open up the door and you can make sure you close it. Works properly, okay? And while with it open, all right? So here, now the next one we're gonna talk about. Door hinge, properly mounted, good working condition. Now bend, break or crack, no illegal will. Properly lubricated, no rust. Okay, that's the door hinge. So you're gonna look at is the door hinge on this one and this one right here. All right. Okay. Now, if you got a picky examiner, okay, if you got a picky examiner, then you got to talk about the reflective, and also you got to talk about the rubber seal. Okay. Again, a picky examiner. That's why it's not on the paper. But if you got a picky examiner that you feel he is wants a lot of details, well, those things you got to talk about. Okay. All right. Now, next one. Step, right? Here's the steps, the stairs, right? So, property mounted, good working condition, not missing any hardware, not bent, break or crack, no illegal well, missing no boat, free of any debris or any slippery substance. DEF tank, so DEF tank uh, will be right here, okay? That will be the location. EF tank. Properly mounted, good working condition. Not bent, break or crack, not leaking any fluids. Now, uh, check daily to make sure it's at the proper level. Secure with fuel cap, easy on, easy off. Okay? Fuel tank, properly mounted, good working condition. Not bent, break or crack, no illegal well, missing no boat, not leaking any fluid, fuel, not uh, filled to more than 90% capacity. Fuel cap, property mounted, good working condition. Not bent, break or crack, no illegal well. Secure with safety chain and a rubber seal. Fuel tank straps, property mounted, good working condition. Not bent, break or crack, no illegal well. Missing no boat, must have a rubber seal to prevent metal to metal contact. Battery box. Properly mounted, good working condition. Properly secured, connects, uh, connections are tight, seal caps present, no residue build up or corrosions. Covers has no damage and is sec secured. Okay, for the exam truck, it's a little bit different. Once you open up, your battery box will be here. Okay, so this will be the first battery box. It's black covered, so you make sure that's the battery box. Then on this side right here, that's your DEF tank. Okay, that will be right here, all right? And then you come over here, this will be your gas tank on this side, okay? Again, that will be the exam truck. Most likely that will be the one. And then your cap. Again, you mentioned about the cap, yeah? And then you talk about the uh, strap, right? Remember, the fuel tank strap right here, okay? And make sure it's secured with it, okay? All right, okay. Now that's for this part. Now the catwalk area. This is your catwalk area, right here, okay? Catwalk, properly mounted, good working condition. Not bent, break or crack, no illegal well. Missing no boat, free of debris or any slippery substance. Frame, properly mounted, good working condition. Not bent, crack or broken, no illegal well. Frame, we're talking about this. This is like the backbone of your spine the most important part of your truck, 
right? If this breaks or bent, you got major problem with the truck, right? That means you really <laughs> major damage, okay? So we gotta talk, talk about that, okay? All right, frame. Drive shaft, probably mounted, good working condition. Now bent, break or crack, no illegal wheel, missing no boat, properly lubricated, all right? Drive shaft again, we're looking at all the way in here, this will be the one, right? That's the drive shaft, okay? And this will be your exhaust since we're at it, okay? That will be your exhaust, right? Exhaust is either on the bottom or it will be on going on the top, okay? But most likely our truck, for our truck purpose, will be on the bottom there at that position. So what does that mean? It means that when you're pointing to bottom here, two things you gotta make sure you mention, right? So this way we'll, you won't forget. That will be your drive shaft, your exhaust, right? Exhaust, uh, drive shaft. What does a drive shaft do? The yeah, it drive, drive the rear uh, wheel. That's what it does. Okay. All right. Very good. All right. Come on over. Drive shaft. Property mounted. Good working condition. No bent, break, or crack. No illegal wheel. Missing no bolts. Property lubricated. Okay. Exhaust. Property mounted. Good working condition. Not bent, break, or crack. No illegal well, no residue build up, pushing all toxic films away from the cap. Okay? All right, next one. All right. So remember earlier, this is all the stuff that we talked about. Okay, that's something different from our section A. Right? Remember the four things that we talked about. What are they? S steering. steering. Second S suspension. suspension. Alright. So and then B for brake and then W for wheel. All right, so S, S, B, W, right? Obviously, section B, we don't have steering, right? So we skip the, skip the steering portion. So next S is? Suspension. Suspension, right? So suspension, remember we talk about looking for that thin leaf, right? So look at here. That's your leaf spring right here, right? So uh, as you can see, we can see very clearly here. But during the exam, you're going to come on this side, and you'll see this angle okay here we see at this angle so there will be your leaf spring your hanger right here your hanger leaf spring and again because you can't but the, your trailer is covered right so you're not going to be able to see your u-bow and shackle but here we're able to see it right from here see that u-bow and shackle come on this side look at right here right here that's your u-bow and shackle okay so that's your u-bow and shackle right here all right okay so you bow and shackle and then shock. Okay, that's your shock right here. So if you come on this side and you're looking this way, you'll see the shock. Okay? So during the exam you wanted to go inside and check it. Okay? That's how you check them. For your regular duty, your job itself, the same way. You want to make sure you come in and check them. Make sure they're working properly, right? And then you're gonna add additional item, which is your airbag, airbag right here, okay? All right, so with that in mind, so that's what we're gonna go through. First, you got a hanger. Property mounted, good working condition. Not bent, break or crack, no illegal wheel, missing no bolts. Leaf spring, property mounted, good working condition. Not bent, break or crack, no illegal wheel, none missing. U-bow and shackle. Probably mounted, good working condition. Not bent, break, or crack. No illegal well. Not missing any bolt. Shock, probably mounted, good working condition. Not bent, break, or crack. No illegal well. Missing no bolt. Not leaking any fluid. Airbag, probably mounted, good working condition. No holes or cuts, split, tears, bubbles. Any airbags properly mounted. To the frame not leaking any air not making any funny sound one of the ways to check is to use a spray bottle with the soapy water to check if there is a leak or have someone help me hold down the trailer brake handle trailer trailer brake handle while the red button is pressed in and listen for leaks so that's how you check it that's how you can check the airbag itself, that's working properly or not, okay? Again, why we put all the detail in there? Because you are the truck driver, 
you need to check it if all the components is working properly. So you gotta make sure by this procedure, it gives you a better understanding. Doing the test, as you notice, is a lot of words, right? You wanna memorize it by a, a system of your own. How do you check it? How do you, how do you in the case the examiner ask you for the detail, now you know what to do, right? How to check your, your airbag, make sense? All right, okay. Now, what did we, uh, let's reveal again. SSBW, first S. Steering. There's no steering. Second S. Suspension. Suspension. We just gone through that. Next one. Beaver brakes. Okay, so now we're going to talk about a brake, right? Again, remember, we're looking for the round cylinder, right? Look at right here. You see that round cylinder? That's your brake chamber, right? Brake chamber in the back of it, and we'll have your brake holes, right? Because we're looking for the brake holes. Come on this side. We'll see it better, right? Here. That's your brake holes. Brake chamber, your push rod and snug adjuster back here. See that? Okay, so those are the three items. And then you point inside the tire, your brake drum, and your brake down. See the brake drum? Brake down, right there. All right? See that? Brake drum, brake down. All right? So, what is brake drum? All right? So, you might ask, how does a brake drum look like? Come on over here. You see the back? All those drum there? Those are the brake drums, okay? And then brake pad is inside of it that holds it, right? So that's brake brake uh, brake drum and brake pad, okay? All right. So here we're gonna go through this. All right, for brake area, brake hose lines, probably mounted, good working condition, no cut, bubble, tear, not leaking any air, not making any funny sound, properly insulated, brake chamber. Dual brake chambers. Again, it's dual. Dual means what? Two of them, right? You got one here and one here. Both of them, right? Again, you notice the air hose. It would it wouldn't make sense if it goes from the bottom, right? So obviously it's on the top. And so this one won't get tangled, right? Right. Right here. Dual brake chamber, probably mounted. Good working condition. Not bent, brake or crack, no illegal wheel, missing no boat no loose or missing clamps okay all right push rod and slack adjuster properly mounted the working condition not bent break or crack no illegal well missing no boat no more than two inch of play during the exam the examiner might ask you which one is the push rod and which one is the slack adjuster this is the push rod all right and this this is the slack adjuster that's where you adjust it right so you gotta know which one is which, right? So same thing when you see the actual, you know which one is which, right? So as you can see, it's a stick that goes all the way inside, right? Makes more sense, right? So you can see the stick right there, a push rod, right? That's right there. And slack adjuster, that's right there, all right? Now, brake drum, probably mounted, good working condition. Not bend, break or crack, no illegal wheel, no residue build up, Minimum of half inch of length. Okay, brake pad, properly mounted, good working condition. Not bent, break or crack, no illegal wheel, no residue build up, minimum of quarter inch of life. Okay, all right, good. So, so far, what did we learn so far? Suspension. First S, suspension. suspension, and then second, brake, B for brake, and last one, wheel, W for wheel, right? All right. So we'll talk about the dual wheel. We're gonna skip this one, okay? Because uh, for our exam truck, it's gonna be first axle, second axle, and then the trailer, third axle, all right? So for the wheel uh, area, then you can see tire in ICD, inflation condition depth, should be inflated to manufacturer specification. The specification is written on the tire. That's for the uh, C for condition for the dual tires, right? They don't have to be original. Can be recapped or rethread. No cuts or bubbles larger than an inch. Needs to have four inch of space between them. Free of all debris. Minimum breadth of 230 seconds. Check with press, uh, pressure gauge for proper pressure. Rim, properly mounted, good working condition. Not bent, cracked, or broken. No illegal will, all right? 
So let's go here. Lug nuts, properly mounted, good working condition. Not friend, break or crack, no illegal will. Mr. All, all present, no, no rust or shiny threads. Those are indication of looseness. Axle seal, properly mounted, good working condition. Not cracked, broken, or leaking any fluid. Air valve, properly mounted, good working condition. Not bent, break, or crack, no illegal well. Not leaking any air, not make any funny sound. Spash guard, mud flap, properly mounted, good working condition. Not break, or no, no, no break, no crack, not touching the floor. Both sides are present. Rear, uh, rear red light, probably mounted, good working condition. Not broken, not cracked, red in color, used for night light, brake, left or right signal. Rear natural light, probably mounted, good working condition. Not broken, not cracked, natural white in color, used for reverse the tractor. Reflector, probably mounted, good working condition. Not break or crack, okay? All right, so now we're gonna go down to individual components, what they are and where they're located, right? Again, dual tires, we're talking about here, right? Dual tires. This one again, we talked about in the detail in the wording. So here is the difference between the front and the rear, that's what? They can't be recapped and returned. Cannot be refread or recapped, right? Uh, and also again, because it's dual tires, you gotta mention about the four inch spacing. So you need to check inside to make sure there's nothing in between there. All right, make sure there's nothing in between. Okay, all right, next one. So here, again, you got it. Um, all this stuff is the same thing, except here. This is axle seal. Hub seal, axle seal, and then rear is back, it's hub seal again, right? So it's easier to remember, okay? All right, here again, after you're done, after you're done with the tires, then again on the tire you are allowed to be refed or recap and able to uh, does not have to be original All right so again if you check the tire let's see if there's any of them that we able to see of the breakage so on this one we don't see it All right normally you'll see the breakage right there all right of uh, where they mounted the other okay so this one doesn't have it okay mud flap we talked about mud flap okay there might be reflective right there, right? Reflective right there, right? Okay, come on over. Look at the lights, the rear lights, the rear lights, right? Rear lights, and then you've got uh, uh, backup lights, right? That will be your backup lights, okay? Your signal lights, your uh, uh, signal or your emergency light, it's all back here, right? So once you're done with this, you're not done yet, okay? What does that mean? It means you need to come on this side. You're gonna check on this side over again, okay? So during the exam, you're gonna come all the way around and you're gonna start checking on this side the same way that you have done on the other side, okay? If the examiner says, this is good, you're done, you got sufficient points. If not, you do the same thing again. Double check of everything here, okay? Do the same way. Again, you can check here, you go all the way here. Alright, and don't forget, do your coupling. Alright? Done.